I won't lie, I've learned an awful lot about settlements and building them in the last uh, couple of hours. So, let me show you what I have got together. This place obviously needs a wee bit more work. It's essentially a barracks on the roof though. I have certainly been up to shenanigans. We're going to have a little neon sign here. We've got some turrets and it's a nice sort of outdoor bar overseeing the majority of the Red Rocket. I have two settlers, one's producing some food, and one is just out scavenging. Hopefully, she brings back something good. I'm not, again, I'm not totally familiar with a lot of the settlement building mechanics. This is a first bump. Whilst you're all here, let's enjoy this moment by none other than throwing in our one little bobblehead that we have. The repair one should be right at the bottom here. There it is. There we go, the first of many of course, as we have so much to do. Now, in terms of inventory, I don't have all that much. Codsworth pretty much has nothing, so we're good to go. Now, where did I leave this off? Well, hopefully those settlers should be, yeah, they're pretty content I'd imagine. Uh, 21%, wow, they're not content at all. We'll finish doing up this wee place a wee bit later. I suppose we may as well uh, fast travel straight down to Sunshine Titans Co-op, mm, Lonely Chapel. We'll do the Lonely Chapel first. But yes, it is fantastic to see you all here joining in on the uh, the premiere. Of course, if you're watching afterwards, welcome to the party as well. I, of course, do my premieres of this series every 4 p.m. EST for everyone's convenience. It's evening here and obviously early late afternoon for uh, all of you over there. Ah! That should have been the moment Thank that I realized. Huh? Well, red to wrap. Whoa! Did I bite off more than I could chew? Maybe. I think I need to take something to more damage, and let's take some manax to <laughs> get him, Codsworth. So yes, part of the 100% run here, we will of course be doing the max affinity for all raid or for all people. Um, Codsworth, of course, is first up. So as we continue through, ah, more turrets. Well, we got the password, and we'll take everything, especially from the turrets. As for the one that ran at me, get a companion to dislike you enough. Maybe Codsworth, well, I assume he likes me. I wonder can you check affinity? Is that something you can do? Because I know Codsworth, maybe he would be better for... Perfect. Ah, permanently more difficult to detect when sneaking. Face pit fundamentals. Oh. Oh, there's a little story going on here. Let's have a read. Damn it, I'm sorry, sis. I don't know what happened. I was covering the entrance like you told me. We had Tar Tom's little maggots in the run. Then, blam! I remember a face full of plaster, then nothing. When I woke up, I was here in Beantown Brewery with Tar Tom's ugly mug grinning at me. They've been good to me so far, but I think it's only because they want our food. Don't give them a thing, sis. I'll find a way out of here. Lil. Let's see. To my big sister, Red. You've got to send more of those snack cakes. Otherwise, Tom said he's going to chop me to bits. I'm scared. He's a real intimidating guy. Please send more cakes. Think of me. Or think of your sister. Me. Please help Lily. Red, it's Lily. I don't know much longer they're going to let me live if you keep sending these lousy supplies. Deviled eggs? Come on. My life is on the line here, Red. I heard them talking about what they're going to do to me next if the shipment isn't better stuff. It ain't good. No more eggs, Lily. Oh. So, there was definitely something going on there. Let's open our terminal see if we can get a wee bit of an easier story. Now that I know how to, you know, do these. Uh, right, well it can't be Pile. It could be me. It's not me. It could be gang. It's not gang. Okay, so we've exhausted all that. Let's get duds removed. Hopefully get our tries reset. 
can see Annie, let me know. Well, it's not live, but you know. I appreciate the, the attempt. Could it be what? What has nothing like, so it can't be what. Is it home? I can't. Oh, I can't scroll up. You should probably do all the duds at the start. But then you couldn't get the extra retries. Uh, home. Is it anything like gang? Nope. Lack. Lack's got an A. Nice. It's Lack. Beamtown bastards. Let's go. Sis caught a pair of Tardon. Tar Tom's goons sniffing around the front entrance. Lil and I interrogated them and it sounds like the liquid diet they've got going on at Beantown ain't working. Apparently Tar Tom's got some sort of plan to fight his way in here and steal our food. I'd like to see those drunk idiots try. Lil's gone. Tar Tom and his boys made a run in the stockpile today and in the chaos Lil went missing. I sent a crew out to see if anyone could find out where she went but I'm fearing the worst. If Tom somehow got her hands on her I'll rip that bastard's heart out and nail it to my wall. Son of a bitch, Tar Tom's got Lil. He's making her write me letters begging for supplies. Says he's going to cut her up if I don't. I tried to get a crew together to rescue her but they talked me down. Said Tom would just kill her if we made a move. But we've got to do something. I'll give that big fuck his food for now, but not before our mutts get a chance to mark it. <laughs> Got another letter from Lil, but something's off. She calls me Red. I hate that name and she knows it. I think something's happened. Tom's recruiting hard now that he's got our provisions. I'm going to send one of my boys to sign up and see if he can figure out what's going on. Fuck, fuck, fuck. The man I sent to Beantown Brewery said there was no sign of Lil anywhere in the place. Tom must have moved her. I've sent out a crew to start looking. Hang in there, Lil. We're coming. And then, of course, turret patrol or control. But we don't need any of the turret control. Because, you know, we kind of already got through this. So a bit of raider on raider action between uh, Little Red here and um, a guy named Tom over in Beantown Brewery. We might have to visit that place soon because Uberland Station is close by. And I know Preston said that I should give it a visit. And uh, just like that, I will certainly try now, there is more of a dungeon to this place, and we have went kind of the roundabout away to it. So we're basically going to be straight in on the raiding side. Oh. Ooh, can test out my, my lock picking today. Ooh, it's it's refined. It is nice. Okay, so oh dear. Maybe stop taking armor. I'm starting to think. I need the scrapper perk. I've seen that it is like exemplary, so we'll be taking it. Wow, it's a lot of first aid. Taking. Well, sadly, there's only one open, but we'll take all the paint. I think it breaks down into pretty useful stuff. What does paint break down into? Let's see. Uh, junk paint, 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 paint. An empty paint can is just steel. That's okay. Well, the yellow one breaks down to... Oil. Oil is good. I'm glad we are collecting these. Ah, we now have the password. There's a security upgrade. In response to recent events, this facility will be operating under heightened security starting immediately. Identification must be worn all times while on grounds. Civilians must be checked in and given temporary identification while on the premises. It includes delivery staff and vehicle operators, no exception. Strict inventory will be taken. Don't risk your job by taking anything home. Yes, this means you. A group of civilians has discovered the hatch leading into the old tunnels connected to this facility. Simple surveillance of this exit point will no longer be adequate. A minimum of three men will be stationed here until we can find a way to better secure the route or seal it up. Also, I do not want to hear any more complaining about our choice to build this federal storage facility into these tunnels or the struggles of the retrofit operation. The decision has been within the approved budget and is done. This exit will be handled and this facility continue to serve its purpose. Thank you for your cooperation. Is that after the bombs failed? Sounds very, like, calm, strangely. Oh, I suppose would be a good idea if I take the long way round to sit at it and then I can just unlock it. I know you get some pretty good gear in here. So, heavy 10mm pistol, it's pretty well modified, and some armor. Okay. Not stellar, 
but pretty good. Ah. Oh my! Hello. I will be taking all the food. Codsworth, you just do your thing there. Hey, e. And with that, that's. If you were doing a survival run, this place would be such a great fit. Um. I always remember there being like some sort of Fat Man thing land about. Have I missed it? Are you Fat Man the Mini Nuke? Or. Huh. Don't know where I got that from in my head, but let's bounce on through here. Obviously, this door was the original entrance. Surprise! I am collecting so much for my settlements. It is great. And not only that, because we'll set up supply lines... I'm just going to well equip the red rocket station. It'll act as kind of like a central node for now. Um, maybe, maybe I might change it. Uh, we will see. There's definitely, there's a fat man about here or something. Something like that. Just don't know where it is. Some people are wondering. I still turn the radios off because it isn't copyrighted music. But I still don't want to run the risk because, again, you know. Doing hey. this uh, full time, Thomas. it's kind of, kind of a big deal. Uh, Trade. Okay. Right. You'll take everything. Because I know some people were asking how on earth I get around that problem, and that is the answer. I simply don't. <laughs> or well, you install a mod. Um, it's a really good mod. I'll probably talk a wee bit more when I do more mod spotlights and the like later on down the line. Have I not equip equipped that yet? No, I'm not equipped that yet. You can have all of this, and then in terms of junk, take it all, Codsworth. I can't carry anymore. That's okay. You took a large chunk off me, so let's go. I'm guessing this is just, like, the same terminal. Ah, memo. That's okay. That makes much more sense. There it is. I knew there was a fat man sitting about somewhere. I don't think there's a mini nuke in here. Hmm. I knew it. I knew there was a mini nuke about here. It's right beside the trunk. See? Sometimes I, uh, <laughs> I read the wiki and I'm like, ah, that's where it is. Because I have to be very thorough. Not that the mini nuke counts towards any 100%. Oh, more enemies. Fantastic. I was starting to get a little... I'm out of ammo. <laughs> oh, no. Here. Combat rifle time. Not too bothered by that. Make sure you keep them busy just for a second. I'll burn them a good bit, Codsworth, before we have to go and deal with them. Oh. Nice. Sweet. Another one, yeah, nice. Is it Nick does the lock picking and That's one of the it. other ones does the terminals? I think. Oh. I will happily take a fusion core. Alright, Codsworth, a bit bloodthirsty there, things you love to see. I think that turns the light. Plenty of lockpick in this. Oh. Yeah, plenty of lockpick in this time round. Nice. 
Come on, Codsworth. So I'm not, I don't know. You're not dead. Nothing. Keep your eyes mm. open. Here, I tell you what, love. Love that. Oh, legendary raider. Yes, our battle will be legendary. Try to do a kung fu panda reference, but. Oh my! Damn, that hurt. Drinks, drinks a bottle of water in the midst of it all. Um, where's that bit of armor that I don't have on yet? There we go. Got him, Codsworth. Nice. Our second legendary item, to my knowledge, mutant slayer's leather left leg. Wow. Oh. You know we haven't fought a super mutant as of yet. Yeah, that's something something that definitely needs to be on the list. I haven't fought Deathclaw either. Shouldn't speak too soon in this series. You never know what we might just encounter. I'm more interested to know what sort of way uh, it'll be once we get to the city. Okay, so we worked our way around most of this. Let's go back here. I don't think there was anything across this way. No, that's just showing one of the exits. Nothing. Oh. Hello. That's why you've always got to check every little corner. You never know what you might find. Now, we are going to head back into this main bit. So I know there's a catwalk. Yep, the catwalk above us. So obviously, we've got to take another little detour. I think you can get a stealth boy up there. Not a stealth boy, it'll be something useful. We can access it via this way? Yeah, there it is. Anyone in here? Ooh. Nice. Oh, these guys are already dead. find two soldiers in the corner I don't know if that's normal I think they're normally scattered about but as well just nip back down here so I don't know if you could jump up from that entrance now there's gonna be a massive firefight when we exit this place because you know I'm gonna have to kill them all so uh, yeah if anyone is ready for it we're gonna have a substantial amount of violence now Kids, cover your eyes. This is going to be wild. Surprise! Oh, it's another legendary one. Oh dear, it's another legendary one. Ha, <laughs> she was trying to negotiate there. We don't negotiate with raiders. Where's that turret right there? Go, Codsworth, like- Ah! Die! <laughs> A pipe pistol? Nah. Okay. I'll take it. What am I looking at on the- I have 100 carry weight. That's okay, she carries into the next place. You keep going, Codsworth. I'm going to just... Have we read whilst you're doing that? Okay, we did that. The deliveries came from Blamco Foodstuffs. Um, on the 23rd. From Thomas. Um, nah, I don't want to deactivate anything. Oh, I create violence! Oh, no, you went in that part, armor. Didn't do you much good, all that. But... You tried. Okay, maybe I will have to go back. Codsworth, where's the rest of them? What's all this? 
That was the worst throw of my career so far. That was so bad. Like, what was that aiming for? Why can't I jump up here? Huh? Another one bites the dust. These raiders came well stocked with food spells. Oh. Hello. Hello. Oh. Did he mutate or something? Another pipe or Right leg six six. Where's my right leg one? I'm not wearing a right leg. Oh no, there it is. Ah, it's a slightly better one. Wait there, Mr. Thomas. Over here. Pipe submachine gun. Didn't know that was a thing. I'm gonna give it a wee blub. Been using the combat rifle for a bit there, but I'm obviously run out. Let's see how this one let's see how this baby performs. Fusion core. Hey! On day's work. On day's killing. Is that this place cleared? Does it mark both as cleared? It does. So yeah, there usually is some power armor right here. Security's too tight. Can't even unlock that, so. Doesn't even matter. Come on, Godsworth. Ah, sad. Yeah, there's a power armor sitting normally in here, but the raiders will run and take it. And as you've seen, he ran at me and tried to kill me. Ooh. Boarding now? Yeah, always hoarding Codsworth. Hmm. Okay, so from here we've got a radio tower. Got an arc jam. Oh, the propane place. There was a quest line for this. From one of the creation clubs. No. Hmm. This is gonna be fun. Oh, why are you? Hostile. Oh, how did you survive? Oh, you must have. Ah. Okay, that makes sense. He must have like turned the machines on. Them. Well, as much as it makes sense, it's it's a bit annoying for me because I'm gonna have to kill him. I've become addicted. Whoa. Ah. Who's this? Oh, Raiders. Nice. We can use this to my advantage. How can I kill him? I think I have a good solution. My right, boys, use deal with Dawson. I'm gonna go recruit some help. Whoa! To kill him. And you might be wondering, what do you mean by recruiting help? I think there's one thing nearby that might be able to kill Dawson. This will do. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, a death claw, of which I do not think I'm going to be able to kill him, and I actually think he's going to kill everyone here. No, I don't. Don't be a pansy. No, 
How do we match this? Come on. Come on. I don't don't give me that. You stuck or something? Ah Dawson again. He's gonna kill the legendary, which I don't want. I kinda of wanted the legendary to come out and do battle. <gasps> Ow! This guy hurts! Where's Cotsworth? Where's them raiders? Okay, I have to have something to blow him up. Alright, where's all my explosives? through this. Uh, let's drink some for a drink. Addicted to medics too now. He mutated! What? What is the likelihood of this? I'm gonna use Fat Man on you in a second. They're kind of doing battle, but they're not doing battle. I've clearly bit off a little more than I could chew. Time to go get Codsworth. Codsworth! Why are you sitting here? Oh, these are the guys that normally occupy this place. Perfect. Oh, yeah! New paint job, racing stripes. Okay, well, that is only got via Dawson. Codsworth? What is wrong with him? Seems he has just glitched out a little. Okay, we'll unlock this, see if then we'll go kill Dawson. I may expend a fat man to kill one of the two of them because it's a legendary death claw and Dawson. Got it. Boy, do I have missiles to burn though? Okay. Back to it. What can I use? What is at my disposal? Okay, I don't have much in that. Don't have much in that. It's not, not looking great. A four mini nukes though. Might just dump them all on Dawson. What the hell was that? He did, he actually did kill him. Well, I mean, the first death claw did not die by my hands and he kind of glitched out a little. Good old fallout. Hard metal right leg. Take the rest. I'll take that just to dismantle. Hello, Codsworth. Good to see you back. Had the Deathclaw fought Dawson, I think if it gets up close and personal, Dawson loses. Hey! <laughs> Dawson! What about you? Exactly. Okay, so. Take that. Take that. The lucky board. 
That's pretty cool. And then you've got all this. How much overweight am I? Oh no! 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 The car's gonna blow up. The car is going to blow up. Um. Leather chest piece. I dropped that. Can I drop anything else that's pretty heavy? I'll, I need to drop something. Helmet. Run! That was so close. See, if I was another inch to that, I think I would have died. Like, right away. Hard hat and a sentinel program thing. Does that mean I get one of you? Maybe not. Uh, do I have to listen to Dawson's hollow tip? Hmm. I do have a level up I need to use as well. This is the third week I've been saying data to the Institute. Schematics, core dumps, everything. The Botheru Hood has amassed an enormous amount of data and technology, and yet we keep it locked away. We say it's to keep us safe, to protect humanity. I've had enough of the hubris and greed, so I'm going to keep doing this as long as I can. I'm starting to think this is my true purpose. Oh, he was doing a bit of sneak there. Maria caught me compiling a holotape today. I told her I was just making backup. She seemed to accept that. I need to be more careful. Vasquez is starting to ask a lot of questions. I can't even take a leak without him asking for a status report. This is getting out of control. Oh, so there's uh, going to have to be an accident. It's the only way I can keep all this quiet. I know how to reprogram the targeting systems. I'll say that I barely made it out alive and that all the kinks in the, with the AI haven't been worked out yet. I'll wipe my own Sentinel's memory when I'm done. If the Brotherhood dies, too much will die with it. I can't allow it. My Sentinel passcode is Captain Tripwire Echo. I will need to get Maria and uh, Vass's codes as well. Okay. I think now we can hack it. You gonna come with me? Yay! Did a quest. We have two mines now. Two good old points. Right, where's the scrapper? Where do you get scrapper? Can salvage raw components. Oh, level 23. That's fair enough. At least we have scrapper one, so that means we can actually, you know, if we do need materials, straight off we'll be doing that. Hmm, better criticals, critical banker. Uh, nah, I don't really need any of these. Not that I could even get them, I just noticed. Uh, I would like to get local leader, which means I need six charisma, so I'm going to have to start banking points into charisma, I guess, so that's that's that. Honestly, I do want to give you the remainder of your items here, so come here. Sentinel! Sent Sentinel, come here. Come here. Oh, do I need to tell you to equip it? That might make sense. Um, equip. There we go. You're back to full strength. Um, in terms of weapons, I could give you an automatic laser pistol that you can equip. And what do we do with you? What what exactly? Enter standby mode. Enter escort mode. I might leave you at one of my bases. So, sentry bot... Mr. Gutsy or Sultron. I, d I don't know what these mean. I'm going to have... Oh! Oh! Oh, you can make him sound like a Mr. Gutsy or an Assaultron! Ah, that's so cool. Okay. Uh, he is... Not coming with us? Coming with us?
Oh, he has come with us. I was so confused. He's a little OP. He is Content Creation Club. So it's probably something people were having fun with later on in the game. With all that in mind, though, I think uh, he's not the biggest problem in the world. So we'll bring him, and then I'll probably leave him for defense at one of my settlements. I mean, that's kind of overpowered, but, you know, if he defends the settlement, I'll leave him at the Red Rocket. I just want to discover this place, so don't think... I'm not going to go in until I, I meet Dance and all, because I just want to... Most of these big locations, I want to just do it in one sweep, so we can get all the items. Uh, so from here uh, on out, we're just going to do a wee bit of discovery. Uh, now, where are we on the map? Well, we're close to Uberland Station and Beantown Brewery. We could probably batter both of them. He's already a wee bit stuck. Uh, hmm... Fiddler's Green, I could go there. I know it's south. Uh, and bean time or that water purification place. Watson's, I think it's called. What are we dealing with here? What's all this? Oh no, I didn't mean to throw that. That worked surprisingly well though. A gunner note. I wonder what's on the note. Where'd the other body go? So we got a gunner note and a normal note. I'm going to have to clear out my mis so I, m miscellaneous uh, soon. Gunner note. Got the intel. The gang at Beantown Brewery looks tough, but their leader has the gun, a 10mm. Just like the contact said, a squad of men could take it. So what did the, uh, what did the other wee note say? Billy, I got the 10 mil. Now we just have to figure out a way to sell it without anyone getting wise to what we're up to. I stashed it in Wilson Automaton's factory. I'll meet you there tonight. P.S. Make sure you're not followed. I think John is getting suspicious. Okay, so that was two strange things, but for anyone that doesn't know, you can just... Don't worry about the grenade. It never triggers for some reason. I actually think you can jump this arm up. Caps, 10 mil hunting rifle. Don't really need the hunting rifle. Can I carry it though? Ah, I can't. Yes, we'll have to drop it. How much over are we? Ah, oh, wait, 11. Nah, you ain't coming with. Where is, is this? Picking up hostile life side. Where's the scent? Is he with us? Yeah. He's over there. Uh -huh. Kill this magnet. Get it out of our way. Nice. Okay, Fiddler's Green it is. Got a wee bit of a storyline going to that one. I know I'm addicted. I think it's... Is it a dick toll you need to get rid of uh, addictions? I don't actually know... What is it causing? Show effects. Damage resistance. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Don't think I have anything to deal with addiction. Addict hole? Nah, we never really picked that up. It's only a doctor at some stage. Oh! Uh, do you know what? After Fiddler's Green, we'll go to Bethany. Maybe she will to fix us up. I've got a good number of caps, so it would make sense. And we get to explore another unmarked location. Win, win. This place is crawling with ghouls, if my memory serves me right. Angloid <laughs> one! Ah, get him, Sentinel. Put good use to you. I make good use out of you. Look, I've got, I've got ammo to burn. You boys, continue doing what you're doing. I'm gonna go about and just make sure these ghouls don't have anything uh, important. That. Just what we need. I'll probably swing back so I can 
you know, take it. I'm not going to take advantage of the Sentinel's inventory because, again, I think he's. Ah, oh, he's fighting with fire. Really? Wow, you are very. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Well, you know. I got rid of a lot of them. Come on, all he is out. I'll take them. There's also a little bunker here, if any of you don't know. Fiddler Green's got a few secrets up the sleeve. I know I said I was supposed to go to Sunshine. Sweet. I don't know if I'll be visited in this episode, but. It's a master lock, but I know where the key is. Because I did the. Did a video on the power armor. Not that long ago. Like Get him, boys! I love how Codsworth just throws himself into the fray. He's like, here, I'll take care of him. Novice safer, novice turn. Save first. Nice. That's the trailer key. Guido? Guido? Okay, any of these got. Okay, well. Can't be Waltz. Can't be Bunch. Can't be Alone. Can't be Halls. Can't. Could be Dazed. Isn't Dazed. About sure we can get duds removed. Hopefully, pick up a few resets. A reset. Mm, no. Okay. I would always just re enter the terminal because I never really want to try. You know, if you get locked out of it, it's a bit of a bummer. You know, we need to do 100% here, so. Have to be extra careful with these things. Okay, so it's nothing like turns or par. So is it magic? I'm through. It's magic. And all this, well, I thought it was going to give me some information. Turns out, all it did was give me some stuff. Ooh. Tip two. Didn't know it was a tip one. Story time, Simon here. Welcome back. And here it is, part two of the new squirrel. One night, a red squirrel appeared at the bottom of Ricky's oak tree and woke Ricky and his family. Oh, please help me, said the red squirrel. I am lost and have nowhere to go. The elders were quick to turn the red squirrel away, but Ricky scurried down the trunk of his tree and stood firm next to the red squirrel. He yelled up at the elder squirrels. How could you turn him away? Just because he's from another tree, he needs our help. Affected by Ricky's assuredness and determination, the elders agreed to take in the red squirrel. The red squirrel thanked Ricky for standing up for him. You won't regret this, he said. End of holotape. Please insert holotape three. Didn't know there was a three, but we'll play one. Played them in complete wrong Hello. order, but... My name is Storytime Simon. And I hope you like stories, because I love to tell stories. This one is called The New Squirrel. Come with me on this magical adventure. Nice. There once was a young squirrel named Ricky. What who a lived weird in a big oak bonus. tree in a city park. Ricky was a brown squirrel and lived in the oak tree with all his brown squirrel friends and family.
Is that it? All oh, right, right, and then it goes on to say about them, right. Uh, let's play number three. I mean, we've been listening to them all, so why not? Storytime Simon here with the exciting conclusion to The New Squirrel. Tomorrow we can get to know each other and become best friends, said Ricky to the Red Squirrel. The Red Squirrel made a sound that Ricky took for agreement, and the two squirrels curled up to sleep. Later that night, Ricky woke up to the sound of leaves rustling in the oak tree. He looked around. The Red Squirrel was gone. Ricky surveyed the landscape below and saw a pack of glowing eyes approaching the base of his tree. Cats! Ricky heard a voice from a nearby tree. It was the Red Squirrel! Is there more to that? Why am I so, like, invested now in this? Right, well... I'm only taking this power armor so I can recover it back to base. Let's get into the shelter below. Surrender the next hollow tape of the squirrel to me. Nope. I think it's one of the distress signals you pick up. For a little trailer park. It was packed full of a, uh, you know, fun enough story. So I think this was just, uh, again, another just cool sight. Or a little bunker for someone to just ride out the apocalypse. Wow. That was really bad. Ah, <laughs> uh, dinner tonight's like a, a garlic chicken my mother is cooking yes. up, so... I must say... I am extremely excited. Let's see how that turns out. She's been cooking up a storm as of late. That's a vibe, but I would I would lean more towards uh my top meals I would cook would be like an authentic carbonara. Italian carbonara. Uh lasagna. I make a really nice uh, loads of pasta dishes. Yeah, probably explains a lot. I do do you love me pasta? Ah, so we didn't actually hear the end of that hollow tip. So essentially he sees the cat's eyes. He sees the red squirrel on the other train. He says, I'm really sorry. I didn't want to lead them to my family. They would have eaten them. And then they like crawl up the tree and they eat all of Ricky's family, the other squirrel. What a really grim story. But I suppose it's kind of to give like that whole like, uh, you know, like sort of anti-communist kind of thing going on. So I'm digging it. All right, so let me quickly return to the Red Rocket Station. Well, oh, never seen it so lit up. That's nice. Uh, return to the Red Rocket Station. Going to take everything off Codsworth. Going to leave the Sentinel there uh, for protection of there. And uh, when we, I'm going to fast travel back here, and we'll probably go over to Fort Hagen. Just kind of explore a few locations, get the relay tower and whatnot, find out a few other cool stories. So catch us in a second. Silly me forgetting that we actually had a perception bobblehead as well as the repair one, so it wasn't in fact our first. Right, Sentinel, you are going to remain here, and I'm going to let you just protect the place. So, let's exit out. Enter standby mode. Sir? Good job. You stay there. <laughs> Does it up the defense? Uh, what's the defense of the settlement? Nah, it's just the defense. Given all that, that's okay. Right, Codsworth, we are heading back all the way south. Here we are, Fiddler's Green once again. Uh, well, discover the fort. I suppose we could do the Greater, Mud, uh, greater Blood Clinic as well. Is that a wee cave? No. I to say, if it was a wee cave, I would have known about it. I have walked these woods before. Again, I try to not discover somewhere if I'm not specifically doing something related to it. Thomas, taking a trip down memory lane with that. I wonder when he started talking there. I was like, what are you talking about, Cubbards? If anyone's wondering why I always leave my light on like as much as possible, just so you can see what I'm doing. I think a dark video doesn't make for a super great experience at times. So, yeah. Okay. 
quite a few places dotted around here we're gonna have a wee look at. And boom, Fort Hagen, as he used to call it, or Hagen. I will take all of these. I don't know if they're worth anything, but... Caps is something we're not sure of. I do need to get rid of my addiction, so Bethany is probably where we'll conclude the episode um, in about 10-15 minutes. No timer on it. Just chill. Is that an overdue pick? No? I'll take the teddy though. We will rescue him from this area. I'll even take the lantern. There is always supplies lying around. If you have a keen enough eye, you can spot near anything. Dent the trailer? Nope, can't access the back of it. Red Ragon, so we know exactly what way this is working out. At least Codsworth is building up affinity just by being with us. Oh, maybe taking a lot away because, uh, you know, we are doing quite a lot of fighting with him. He'll get over it. I'm sure. Um, I didn't leave the recruitment beacon on. Does it work whilst I'm not there? I didn't actually check. Oh, we have three settlers, so someone else joined whilst we were away. I will have to assign them to some sort of task. Uh, we'll get some water purifier set up, of course, at Sanctuary, and Abernathy will be our farm. Oh. Now we've discovered it. Good job, Codsworth. Easily dispatched. Not gonna go near the satellite array yet. Because it's swarming with them guys you don't want to deal with, the El Rust Devil boys. Hey, well, that was a lot of purified water. This is a lot of desk fans. I am going to take all of them. Hello, Teddy. You need loads of shark glasses. Yeah. Okay, this fort is just banging when it comes to collecting stuff. What am I like on inventory space already? Yeah. Another hundred to go before I have to offload some to Codsworth. And the scrapper perk, eh, it's probably best I do start taking everything that I can. A few dead scavengers. Normally I find like gunners about here. Or the behemoth. Where did I send the sentry box? Oh, Revere Satellite Array. That's where I sent him. What does the wig get you? I pumped on the wig. Right? Ah, but you can't wear... I, I thought you could wear the wig. i wear glasses as well. And then that pretty much in the next episode we will be doing the Drumlin Diner. Because I'll have enough charisma to sort it out peacefully. And Codsworth will like that. So that'll get his affinity up. So just by default there. It's going to be a good time had by all. Okay, Codsworth, we can start taking some stuff Heads out of my hand. Course. Which will include... Oh, this... Ugh, look at him! <laughs> I forgot I can put a door on him. That is adorable. And I love it. Can I give him a formal hat? No. Just just the bowler one, I think. Imagine he could wear the wig. Ah, oh, would have been killer. Okay. I am going to take back my blue dress. Or my, my blue suit. And the trilby hat. Can I make it up here? I can. And I can do a wee run and jump. Get items off. Oh. Honestly, thought you guys had more on you. And I'm not really going to be able to make it the upstairs there. That's okay. Hmm? Whoa, what was that? Didn't even see you. 
You give me quite the fright there. Embrace democracy. What? Or you will be eradicated. What's going on here? We're gonna find you everywhere? Just a new enemy for the Oh. That's not good. Yeah, we're already addicted. Have at it. The last domino falls here. What? I don't really want to throw anything too extreme at him, so I guess we will swap over to. Oh, oh lasers. <coughs> he has a minigun. I've almost killed him. Eh, uh, that's a bad view. Oh, Liberty Prime personality we can equip now. That, that's cool. I like that. Listen, not this time. <laughs> well, Mongus, they survived. <laughs> Codsworth just smack. Get out of here. Okay, you can take. Not that. In terms of weapons, take the money gun. And then just load them up with all the junk that we can. Until we can carry no more. Look alive. I thought he didn't take everything there. Just rinse through everyone here. <laughs> Leopard print bandana. That's something I'm also going to look for. So, I'm going to keep my eyes peeled. And if anyone sees me stupidly not get one or not find one, no, just let me know. There's actually a few areas left here. There's the stolen tank. Let's go see it. Be sure to harvest anything you can. So this tank was stolen. You stupid maggots! First your sergeant tells me you were caught drinking on base. Then I find out a tank has gone missing. If that tank isn't back here by 0600 tomorrow morning, spit shine! So help me, I will kick you in your uh, your ass, I think he says. Um, on the wiki it's got like the complete version. Uh, pretty beefy tanks though. What were they drinking? I can't, I can't see. Maybe rum or bourbon? One of the two. What a mighty piece of equipment. Oh. See anything else started about? Nope. So we have a little scavenger station. If I can pick it up on the radio, I think. Definitely activated that, didn't I? I did. Nope, nothing here. There's normally so. And if all of you haven't seen this unmarked location before, it's got to be bunker right at the back. Not much in it, but worth looking at. What a wild radio. Anyway, that's it turned off. And now all between us and Bethany is a minefield. A literal one. It's literally a minefield. There's the APC. You can use VATS if you want to be sneaky about it. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. Because I do want to get in here and show you this soldier. Who must have been laying the minefield. You know, obviously in the anarchy, they just want to secure like the northern perimeter here. No, 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 no! Ah, my leg! 
God damn it. <laughs> as soon as I think. Ah, at least there's no more. Okay. It's most of the minefield covered. A radioactive pond down here. Don't think there's any items. Beyond it is Bethany's camp. Oh no, there is something. Alright, I don't want to get too irradiated, so I guess I'll do a rat X and a rat away. Gimme. 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 Was that worth it? Absolutely not. <laughs> nah, pretty worth it, I suppose. Back a bit of federal ration stockpiles cleared so no enemies are by. I can't believe we've got a Liberty Prime Matrix, so it means each time you find one of them rogue sentinels. It is with the Creation Club, you obviously do have to pay like additional money for it, but again, a lot of the Creation Club, uh, some people argue it's overpriced, some people argue it's it's priced nicely. It does support whoever made it, and if they continue to make mods, then, you know, it's a good push in that direction anyway. Any doctors around these days should let me take a look at you. Uh, cheers. Patch me up, Doc. Go over your symptoms with me. Cure health, cure addiction. I've got an itch, Doc. Too many chems. Got anything that can help? Yeah, you got it bad. Let's flush your system. It's gonna burn like crazy afterwards. All Cheers, right. Bethany. I have a needle phobia in real life, so I'm like, no. <laughs> All done. Any other complaints? Uh, no, we're done. Uh, take better care. Uh, I want to keep talking to you though, because I think I you might have. If you need it. Uh, For a small fee, of course. No, I want to see what you've got. Some supplies, actually. Let's see what I. Uh, point or thirty-eight round. But if I jump, so I go. I mean, we've already got enough of like all this, and plus your prices are insane. Once one hundred and thirty-two for one jet. No, how about no? Uh, if you uh, need fix it up. What's new, Doc? Not nothing. Sorry. Just trying. Gonna pass. All right. <laughs> yeah, she's got a little camp there with a few things going on, but honestly, like, it's super irradiated. So I don't know if it would be worth it. There's a wee fusion core up at this tractor bit, so I'm gonna clear it out. And then sort of discuss what we're doing in the next episode, or my plans, anyway. Uh, where'd it go? Answer that question. Help me, Codsworth. Go on, just eat some crisps. Just imagine munching some crisps in the middle of all this. Ah, I'm officially out of ammo with this. So uh, we're swapping back to the short hunting rifle. I always remember there being like a mine here. Nope, apparently not. Guess the biggest danger was in fact just the sting wings. Okay, rated everything here. Have we done car hinge? I think we were we were near it the other day if we didn't, but there is a little stash you can find on this raider bus. If anyone's new, I do, like, primarily on this channel, I mark locations around Fallout 4, so that's how I know, just, like, instinctively where a lot of these places are. Uh, there's no behemoth yet. It'll spawn probably level 20 onward. What level am I? 11. Wow. We're, we're making good progress. Okay. So, with that, we have cured our addiction. Yeah, it's kind of cover. Well, what have we been up to? We cleared the Lonely Chapel, Federal Russian Stockpile, and Fiddler's Green. Managed to activate the Relay Tower, find all the goodies in this area, and discover Fort Higgin. Uh, we've also discovered Arc Chap. So from here, I would say we will kind of like swoop this way. Hit the Rari, or Rocky Narrows Park, 
kill a few Yaogwai uh, that usually hop around that area. Uh, Jalberts is in the vicinity and Grey Garden, so we'll discover all those three. Then hit Beantown Brewery, clear it out before making it to Uberland Station, um, another settlement on our list. Um, I think the episode after that, once I reach Uberland, kind of sort that out. That should probably take me the whole the whole hour, maybe maybe a bit less. Uh, I'll be working on the settlements in the meantime. Uh, some of our new recruits at Red Rocket and setting up Abernathy Farm. Haven't been to Tempines, but in the episode after our Beantown Brewery one, uh, we'll be doing Outpost Simone Gen again, working our way over to the Mass Fusion Containment Shed. At least that's the plan so far. Might evolve, might go to Diamond City. Um, so just stay tuned. Anyway, hope you're all having a fantastic weekend if you're watching this live. Thank you. See you in the next one.